Well, I hope they do go down because at the end of the day, they're just so disorganised at the moment. I think they're doing good to go back down and get themselves yeah. up again, rather than be struggling at the bottom every year, which is what happened before, wasn't it? Saying about the fact they dropped out of the ECL, didn't they? Yeah, they they've yeah. come back. Well, remember they were, weren't they? Essex senior league champions years ago. It was Brighton City United, then they ran out. The money ran out. I think this is always the problem: it is that these clubs have got to live within their means from day one, and if they haven't got the volunteers or, or the the infrastructure to play it above a certain level, they shouldn't bloody try it. Should they? There aren't that many teams now that will get under the fist to turn up. No. Rain or shine, are they? No. Really? Well, I think it's got worse since you've watched Kelly and Stryker. Yeah. Yeah. Watching with your weight. Um, no, because I don't want to... Uh, no, that's that what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it distorts. Oh, you know, that would not end with Histon a few years ago. Yeah, what well, were fortunate. Oh, well, yeah, well, no. They, they needed to win their last yeah, game to stay up, so they put their first team in it, you know? And we used to get that with Fairham when we used to have Southampton's third, third team in the division. They didn't have a first team going when the reserves was called off. Yeah. I mean, yeah, can't see the other one. It's nil nil though, anyway. Mm. Extremely dull or something, he's put. <laughs> Clifton All White. That's it. A very dull cup final so far. What are you doing, mate? Where are you going? Go on. Yeah, well, look, watch then, otherwise you'll miss it. What? <laughs> Come on, somebody score. I do not want bloody... Well, sorry, I'm not going to Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm going to go in Pressure's beginning to tell. One decent delivery and we have a guard. Well, exactly. Then you sit in the Premiership, don't you? And you think they'd know oh, better. You, f you think that is 14 games at step five, yeah. or so, or step five or six? Or... Plus well, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Sit in the breeze, bot five. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. One of these is a paper chaser and he's been told there's going to be a program. He turns up, finds there's no programme. So while his three mates went in and watched the game, he sat in a sulk in the car. Got about 300 miles round trip for this, yeah. Oh yeah, junior game up in Scotland. There you are. Who's that other chap there, Don, Don Quixote, do you know him? Oh, Don Quixote Fletch. Yeah, 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 I know him, yeah. I'm seeing him tomorrow at Hemel. I've got a couple of programmes from from gate, from Brackley yesterday. About to slag him off with. <laughs> Yeah, he likes his chilled red wine, doesn't he? He's a sub red wine as well. Do they? Yeah. Oh, they didn't let it off when I was there, that's a shame. The siren, you know, the wind up. Yeah. 
World War. That was the corner, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, hang on. It did put him in danger for a while, but I think... They're putting on the pressure again, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Here he is. Oh, I know what you mean. I'm trying to think who that is. That's, um... Would that be Royals? Yeah, Possibly yeah. Royals. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we do eight or nine in one weekend. Well, it was at lowest. One is one, two, two with the other one. Oh, okay. One of them was a girl who was brilliant. I thought she was doing Kate Yakis. Oh, I thought she was about eight. Yeah. She was only about eleven. She was really brilliant. But anyway, they were constant because the Brentwood fans were behind the goal and they're and they're mm. singing away. And they're shouting, Anyway, right at the final whistle, they said to the kids, you lot stay here. And they all ran there, trying to find them. Mm -hmm. I mean, me and the lad, we went that way and out. So I don't know what happened, but I thought, man, these blokes were in their 30s. Yeah, right. And they sort of think, mm -hmm. what's that about? Now yeah, grow up, you say. Right, we come across this uh, Woodford goalkeeper. Oh, they were a whole team. Oh, oh the whole team had got to be all the way through the game. About three years ago, when they were about sixth or seventh in the league. Yeah. Oh, no, no. It must have been it's all game! No penalty, no penalty, no way. He had his chance, he should have hit it across the goalkeeper. Yeah, they are, but they're actually quite aggressive. And I think it's because they know nobody's going to clap. When you've got a half decent crowd, yeah, it's fair enough. But when you've got... Yeah, but even then, you want to be about 50 yards away. That's four bedroom house, and it should be worth roughly 180,000. And we've had to sell it for 145. Because all the local people know not to move there because the access road in and out is called Knox Road. And that's the only way in and out. And it is full of the scum of the earth. Now it's, it's gradually been bought up by our association. Oh, yeah. uh, it used to be nice, but it's just, as I say, you've got, you've got more and more people move down from London for the money to finish off their, their council, house, council house building scheme. Oh. Oh! It's a lovely little town, but it's just died now. It's terrible. Yeah, it was the bus shelter. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was about. I saw them on a Friday night down there. Yeah, yeah, that'd be Scooter and, and the others in there. Big John. That bloke. Small squat. Now, but they were quiet. Yeah. Yeah, they, they've got this sort of like dozen guys that, that um, Jody Brown get, takes umbrage at getting stick from the fans. Full time that. here at Park Drive in this Rumbridge so one playoff finals from Smalden and Tiptree 2, Thamesmead Town 2. That was a half time score, and as it's uh, full time here, we have 30 minutes additional time, extra time beginning shortly. And if we still haven't got a winner by then, we'll go to penalty kicks to decide who will be in the Rum Premier next season. Uh, second half, not living up to the same uh, entertainment as the first, but more than probably the better side. But you saw right in the death there, attempting to so nearly snatched it. It's going to be who, uh, who can hold out, who's going to be playing for penalties, who's going to go for the win next extra time. We've got five, 30 minutes to find out.